Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these extravagant long seed bead feather earrings. I'm using a brick stitch and a fringe. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for absolutely free similar content like this one. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. These are purple and golden. I'm using here earring findings also in golden color. This is nylon, nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. When you make fringe earrings it's better to use nylon thread, soft nylon thread. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or size 12, whatever you have. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take at least an arm span and a half of thread to make all of my work with one piece of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful purple beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail that is 25 centimeters or 10 inches and I will put my needle later on it and finish my work. Okay, now as I take these four, I go backwards through two of them. And I make them stay next to each other like two small columns with the holes pointing in this direction. And then I go again in the next two beads. Okay, now this is what I have. Take two again and go backwards through these two. just like this. Then again one more time through the newly added two. I'm adding here two more the same way. And I will add two more columns of purple beads. In this way I will have six columns of purple beads. And after my six purple columns, I want to make another one which is golden. And after that, I'm going to add six more purple columns. Okay, I'm showing the first one. Make five more of those and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am guys, where I just added my last sixth column. Okay, so I have six 
1 and 6. Now I'm going to start another row in the following way. I take two purple beads and I go here under the second thread bridge between my beads. You see here I have one thread bridge and here I have another and I'm going through the second one. Okay, not through the first and the second bead, but through the second and the third bead. And I pull. After that, guys, what I do is to go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Now what I want to do is to reinforce these beads here by going one more time through one of them and then through the other one. I do this because as I go through the second thread bridge they stretch and they don't sit well. That is why I want to reinforce them. Then I'm going to take another purple bead and I'm adding it under the next thread bridge. And I go back through this bead here. And another one. Go under the following thread bridge. And in this bead. Okay guys, now I have four beads added here and under each thread bridge I'm going to add one by one eight more purple beads. So I will have 12 until this row. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just added this last bead at the last thread bridge and now what I need to do is to start my next row and again I started with two beads. And again, as I did before, I will go under the second thread bridge here between my beads. Then again, I'm going in the next bead, in the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And I want to reinforce now I'm going to add three more of those beautiful purple beads at each thread bridge. And I take one golden, I go under the next thread bridge, and from here on until the end, I'm going to add one by one at each thread bridge five more of those beautiful purple beads. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and uh, I added all of the beads one by one like before. And now I'm going to take two again. And as always, I'm going under the second thread bridge that I have here. I pull. I go here through the bit that is closer to the center of my work and I also reinforce.
Okay guys, and in this row I will have 10 beads. I already added two. This is the third one. And I'm going to add until the end of this row seven more purple beads. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be Okay, and I just added the last 10 bead from this row. In my next row I will have 9 beads. First I take 2 like I did before. Then I go again under the second thread bridge. Go back like this. Go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Then go backwards. In this direction and in this direction. Then I'm going to add two more purple beads. And what I need next is a golden one. And I'm going to add four more purple beads until the end of this row of camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I added four more of this row, I'm ready with it. And now I'm going to take again two beads. And the familiar step of going under the second thread bridge here. Then going through the bead that is closer to the center. And reinforcing. Okay, now I'm going to add six more purple beads of camera here in this direction and I'll be back. Okay, and I just finished this row by adding the eight bead from it. And now I need two goldens. I go under the second thread bridge as always. I pull. Go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. Then reinforce. And then I'm going to add five more of those golden beads at each thread bridge that I have here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and now I just added my seven bead from this row. And what I want to do is to reposition my thread. I want it to exit here from the third golden bead and pointing in this direction. And I want to take two golden beads, my earring finding and two golden beads. And I skip one of the goldens that I have here on my way and I go through the following. So when I pull I have this. Now I want to go one more time reinforcing this joint here.
okay now i have this and now guys what i want to do is off camera to put my to put a needle on this uh, tail thread here that i have okay and i put my needle here now what i want to do is go through some beads in this direction and here i'm going to make a loop and i will go through this loop i've made and I pull and then I'm going through the following seed bead and I'm cutting this tail thread as close as possible to my work okay now I have the top part of my earring ready And what I want to do is to reposition my thread and exit here from this side and I will start with my fringe part. And what I'm going to add in my next step guys are 7 purple beads and 1 golden and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, just like this okay then what I want to take are five purple and one golden slide those down five purple one golden again again five purple and one golden okay and what we have here are seven purples one golden and five purples one golden three times okay now what i want to do guys is don't go through this last golden bead but go through all the other beads in this direction okay and when I pull, you see what I have. I'm going here to all of the beads of my first fringe. Okay, this is what I have now. Then in my next step, I will turn my work around because it's easier for me and I go in the next two. I always turn my work the way it's easier. I will take six purple beads and one golden. These six purples are with one bead less than these seven that I added here. In each next fringe I will decrease this number by one the ones before the first golden okay seven six then i take five purple one golden and here i have the sequence five purple one golden three times in this next fringe i will have this sequence four times i already added the first five purple one golden so I need to add three more times five purple one golden and I will have four in total okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back and I added four times five purple one golden four times in total and now what I do is that I go backwards through all of those beads skipping the last one the last golden one and here I go through as many beads as I can in one movement. And here guys, it is really important not to skip any beads because otherwise you should go back and redo everything. ok 
Okay, now I have this. In my next step, probably you could guess what I'm going to add. Here, the purple beads before my first golden will be with one bead less. So I need five purples, one golden. After that, the next sequence of five purples, one golden should repeat five times because here I have it three times, here I have it four times and in each next fringe I increase it with one. So here I need to have five purples, one golden five times. Okay, I'll add it and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and now in the third fringe I have with five purple and one golden more than in the previous fringe. Okay, so now I will do absolutely the same thing. Go back in this direction through all of those beads. And I don't want to bore you watching me go through all of those beads and exit here. That is why I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I repositioned and I'm here, I'm sure you could guess what we need next. And yes, it is four purple, one golden, because in the previous step we had five purples, one golden, and we have with one bead less at each row. So I'm sliding this down. And the next part of the formula is that we add five purples and one golden more. Uh, here I have five purples, one golden. I mean after this first part. Five purples, one golden five times. And here we need to have five purples, one golden six times. Okay, I will add five purples, one golden six times and I'll be back. Okay, and let's resume what we have at this fringe. There are four purples, one golden, and there are six times five purples, one golden. Okay, then I'll go, I will skip this golden, go back, exit here, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and after I went back and repositioned my thread, here I am, and this time I need three purples, one golden, with one bead less than in the previous fringe. In this fringe, I have uh, five purples, one golden, six times, and now I need to add five purples, one golden, seven times. Okay, add five purples, one golden, seven times, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and let me resume what we have here. We have three purples, one golden, and then seven times five purples, one golden. And now, because my thread is almost over, I will go back through all of those beads. I will exit here and show you how to cut this thread and add a new one. Okay, I'll do this off camera going through all of those beads and exiting here after the second purple and I'll be back. Okay, and I went backwards as before and now I'm exiting here. I'm going to make here a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and after that pull and then go through one or two beads in this direction and cut your thread. Now guys I'm going to put a new thread on my needle and because these fringes are really long I will take a long piece of thread, maybe even an arm span or a little bit more and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now with this new thread that I have here on my needle, what I want to do is attach it to my work. That is why I will go here through this bead. 
pulling my thread, leaving a small tail and holding it with my finger, with my thumb. Now here I will make a loop. And I will go twice through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. Then I'm going in the next two beads where I'm in a position to start my next fringe. And here I'm cutting my thread. Okay, now I could continue. Now let me see where we are in our fringe journey. Here I need two purples and one golden. Okay, I have them. I'm sliding those down. And here we need eight times five purples, one golden. Okay, I'll add them and I'll be back. And again, let's resume what we have here. Two purples, one golden. And eight times five purples, one golden. Okay, I'll go back, I'll skip this one, go back here and reposition here out of the golden beads and I'll be back. Okay, and I reposition my thread and what I need to take here is a little bit different than in the previous row and I need 56 golden beads and I will take my 56 goldens I will go back and I will exit out of the next two beads here okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay guys and before I continue let me show you these are the 56 beads again I don't go through the last golden I go back through all of them and I wanna exit here and I'll be back Okay guys, and now as I'm up to here, to the middle, I'm going to repeat all those fringes from this side, but I will mirror them, I will add them the other way around. First I'm adding this one here, then this one, and let me show you the first one and you will continue by yourself. So, now I'm making this one, which was just before the golden row, and if you remember, it consists of two purples, one golden. Two purples, one golden. And now I need to add eight times five purples, one golden. Okay, I'll add them and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and after the two purples, one golden, I added eight times five purples one golden then i'll go back and i'll exit out of the next two beads here and then i will add this sequence this one then this one then this one then this one then this one so the other way around i will add them if you remember the formula it should be easy if not just watch from here from this fringes that you already have and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. Okay guys and I just did here the last fringe and see how it looks. Now the only thing I have left is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go in the following two beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread okay guys and now my long extravagant seed beads feathers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for new absolutely free content like this one you could also like share and comment and this helps me so much thank to all of you that do this check description for useful resources a full list of materials and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials 
You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description or at the join button. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.